Hello everyone, this is Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we are going to take a look at true and false in Excel. Excel recognizes true as a number one and false as zero, and this can come in handy when you're using certain functions to determine whether something is a number or text or if something equals something else, and Excel provides the result of true or false. Here we have a list of vehicles, and in those vehicles we want to determine how many are car rather than truck, van, or jeep. So the first thing we may want to do is say, does this cell equal car? And Excel gives us the result of true. Yes, in fact, cell C2 does equal car. We copy that down, and it goes through and determines that every instance that car is in column C, it gives us a true result in column D. But if we want to know a quantity of that, and we try to sum up trues and falses, Excel can't do that unless we convert trues to ones and falses to zero. And there are four ways in Excel to do that, which are identified right here. You can put a double dash in front of the formula. You can multiply it times one, divide it by one, or add zero to it. And I'll show you each one of those. So if we take our formula in cell D2, and in front of it put two dashes, and put parentheses around our formula, you'll see that Excel has now converted what was pre uh, previously true as into a number one. Uh, multiply times one, same result if we put parentheses around our formula, and multiply it times one, it gives us a zero where previously it had false. Same result is if we take it and divide by one, and also if we add zero to it. In every case, Excel has converted what was true or false to a one or zero. Using the first one we had, we copy that all the way down by double clicking on it, and now you can see we have seven instances of car in our list in column C. Very simple and a, a way that you can use Excel to determine a quantity of, say, text that you might have or other variables that you might have in your list. And that's our Excel Bytes post for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching the blog post. If you'd like to see more, please go to excel-bytes.com and feel free to subscribe to my blog. Happy Excelling!